hello friends in this video we will discuss why the sine and the cosine are called circular functions and we will learn how we can compute the values of the trigonometric ratios at the certain angle without the help of the calculator for this exercise we have to understand the unit circle I have drawn a unit circle and divided into the particular angles in particular portions these are not the accurate angles I have just made by the help of my hand only so first focus let us focus on why this sine and cosine are called the circular function we know this the equation of the circle is x square y square is equal to the r square when the center of the circle is at the origin and r square where r is radius of the circle if we assume r is equal to the 1 then the equation will become x square plus y square is equal to the 1 equation number one if we recall our my memory then we must remind that the basic identity was which was used in our earlier classes it was x cosine square x plus sine square x is equals to the one which was cosine square x plus sine square x is equals to the 1 or at any angle for not our confusion I'm not using X here I'm using theta because we already use the X term so this is equation number 2 if we compare equation number 1 and the equation number 2 then we can see X is equals to the cos theta and Y is equals to the sin theta now we are using this circle to find sine and the cosine just because these are the circular functions which has been proved with the help of this identity identity says that the cosine square theta plus sine square theta is equal to the one and which is exactly a equation of the circle so we can see that the x square is plus y square is equal to the one if we compare x is equal to the cosine and the y is equal to the sine then it can prove that the cosine and the sine are the circular functions now if we draw a circle which has the radius of the one means a unit circle we will draw and divide into the four quadrants first quadrant second third and the fourth and draw the axis lines here it is the x-axis and so y-axis x dash y dash means the values of the x in the right quadrants will be always positive and the values of the x in the left quadrants will always be negative means the first and the fourth quadrant will always be positive for the x values similarly the values of the x will be negative in the second and the third quadrant for y the values of the y will be positive in above quadrant means first and second and the values of the y will always remain negative in the third and the fourth quadrant so for from this concept we can use the our basic mathematics and basic trigonometric identities to find the values of the particular trigonometric ratios at the certain angles without the help of the calculator so the method of this exercise is just simply write 4 and comma 0 it is in the x value it is the y value now at 30 degree we are moving upward so I will subtract 1 from the x value and add that 1 in the y value so I have subtracted 1 from the x value and add it into the y value similarly I will repeat this process 
subtract 1 from the x value add into the y value subtract 1 from the x value add into the y value subtract 1 from the x value add into the y value but now we will do in reverse we will add in the x value and subtract from the y value so here we can see that I am adding 1 in the x value and subtracting from y value so add 1 in the x value subtract in the y value add 1 in the x value subtract in the y value similarly add 1 in the x value subtract in the y value we will, we will again go in the reverse so what it will be subtract from the x value add in the y value subtract from the x value add in the y value subtract in the from the x value add in the y value subtract from the x value add into the y value again we will go into the reverse add in the x value and subtract from the y value add in the x value subtract from the y value add in the x value subtract from the y value add in the x value and subtract from the y value and we should we go, go on then we will see we have already added 1 in the x value and subtract from the y value so these are the particular values at the different angles so for next we will do we will divide each x and y value by 4 and put them in radical or in square root Divide all x and y values with 4 and put them into the square root. Simple process to find trigonometric values at the certain angles without the help of the calculator. And now simply simplify them here we will find 4 divided by 4 answer will become 1 and the square root of 1 is 1 0 divided by 4 simply 0 and the square root of 0 is already 0 0 so it will become 3 over 4 3 is not a perfect square so it will remain in the square root and the 4 this perfect square the square root of 4 is 2 so it will comes out similarly 1 over 2 means the square root of 1 is already 1 and the square root of 4 is 2 this is the 1 and the, we can simply simplify them the table of 2 on the 2 is 1 times and 4 is the 2 times so it will become 1 upon square 2 1 upon square 2 we will simplify all of them so it will become 1 over 2 square 3 over 2 it will become 0 comma 1 so it will become 
वन ओवर स्क्वायर रूट वन ओवर टू कामा स्क्वायर रूट थ्री ओवर टू बट इन नेगेटिव हेयर वी कैन सी दैट द वैल्यूज ऑफ द एक्स विल ऑलवेज नेगेटिव इन द लेफ्ट क्वारंट्स दैट वी हैव टू माइंड इट विल बी नेगेटिव एंड टू कामा फोर टू डिवाइडेड बाई फोर इज वन ओवर टू सो इट विल बिकम माइनस वन ओवर स्क्वायर रूट टू कामा वन ओवर स्क्वायर रूट टू इट विल बिकम स्क्वायर रूट थ्री ओवर टू बट माइनस वन ओवर टू इट विल बिकम वन ऑफ माइनस कामा जीरो एंड हेयर वी कैन सी That the square root three over four means the square root three over two, but the negative and one over two means simply one over two here, and it is also minus one over two because it is the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, the values of the x and the y both are negatives, and here we can see the one over two square root negative, one over two square root negative. Here we can see the one over two in negatives, and three over four means square root three over two of negative. Here we can see that the value of zero comma four over four means one of negative because it is in the below quadrant, not the third or the fourth quadrant. And we can see one over two. Of positive and the square root three over two of negative. Two over square root two means one over square root two, comma one over square root two of negative. Three over two minus one over two, and the process will be go on. So these the final values of the trigonometric ratios means. If we find at the two seventy degree the value of cos at the two seventy degree the cos two seventy will be zero, but the cos sine at two seventy will be minus one. Similarly, we will find any value at this any angle. For example, for ninety, the values are the zero comma one. For one fifty, the values are minus square three over two and one one upon two. Hopefully, you have understood the how we can find the trigonometric values without the help of the calculator. If you find this value video helpful, please like this video and do comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you.